Hey everyone, it's Emily from Naples Botanical Garden. I hope you all are doing well at home. Today I've got a quick lesson for you on how to identify different leaf morphologies. Um, that is the scientific term for leaf shapes. There are two main identifiers that are easy to use when identifying leaf morphology and we're going to start with what is called the leaf margins. So a leaf margin is just the scientific term for the shape of the edges of the leaf. So I've got um, three examples to show you. There are more than three different types of margins, but these are the three most commonly seen and probably the most identifiable when you are out and about. So the first one is called an entire margin. An entire margin is smooth all the way around the leaf. Um, you don't see any breaks in it. You don't see anything jutting in or out. It's not sharp or pointy. It's just smooth all the way around. Our next leaf margin is what is called a lobed margin. Uh, so maybe you can think of your ear lobes. Uh, this margin goes in and out all the way around the leaf. Uh, again, they're not sharp though. They just kind of go in and out. And you'll notice that they don't go to the center here. So these lobes stop on the outer edges of the leaf. They don't cut all the way in to the center here. Our third margin type is what is called a serrated margin. So a serrated margin is exactly what it sounds like. It can be sharp, this is dull, but it still has sharp looking edges. So they're very sawtooth-like. So you can kind of see the way they go in and out and they point. So that is a serrated margin. Now when it comes to leaf shape, there are lots and lots of different shapes of leaves. It can all get kind of really complex, but I'm just going to go over five basic, easy to identify shapes. So the first one is called a linear shape. Linears are long and thin. They look just like a blade of grass. So these are really easy to identify as far as leaves go. Our second is what's called a lanceolate. Uh, you can think of it, it gets its name from the lances that they would use to joust in medieval times. You can see it starts out kind of thin, gets a little wider, uh, but still narrow all the way through. And it does have a point at the end of a of the leaf, just the way a lance would have a point at the end of it. Our third type is palmate. Uh, it gets the name because it looks like the palm of your hand with fingers extending outward. Uh, maple leaves are a very common palmate leaf. Um, many palmate leaves happen to have lobed margins in them. Um, so that's palmate, that's a pretty easy one. Now our last two are pretty easy to confuse, so I will do a compare and contrast at the end uh, when I finish going over each of them. So here you have an elliptic leaf. An elliptic leaf has a narrow base, it is wider at the middle, and then it has a straight, um, slight point to its tip here on the end. An ovate leaf has a round base that is uh, wide. It has um, a kind of broad middle, but not super broad. And then at the very end, it also has a pointed tip. So the difference between an ovate and an elliptic is where they are widest. So an elliptic, you can see, is widest kind of towards the middle, whereas an ovate is widest towards the base. So that is it. That is our quick little lesson on leaf morphology. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful.